Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, listen, before we forget about this, we should get into this. Josh, I know you had a story to tell us from a long time ago. Do you feel like... Uh, oh, yeah. Like, like what's yeah, going on with your that. range and everything? Yeah, let's get into that before we run out of time here. So, so basically, um, we have not been using our range, and we haven't been using it for almost a year, uh, since October last year, actually. So I live in, <clears throat> in a Second Amendment sanctuary city in Tennessee, and uh, and now that the, the state is actually a Second Amendment state, um, I, I live in a county where it's very, very pro-2A. Most people here are very pro-2A. Of course, you've had some people that are, you know, come down from other mm -hmm. places that don't agree with it. Um, but for the most part, you know, we shot out here before I even, like, we have a family property that's like eight acres. So it's, it's a lot of land out here, like in, in farmland. And, um, and our neighbor that is across the hill, she has 20 acres on the other side. Um, and the way that, that, long story short, we are getting sued for shooting on our own property. Now, we've been shooting out here before we were even filming out here. Um, the filming out here was just a byproduct of being a, having a private range. Yeah, I think even before you had a house over there, right? You guys were yeah, shooting out absolutely. there, Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I built this range over here is because I wanted to have my own private range that I could shoot at at my house that I built here mm -hmm. uh, around the range, by the way. I built the house after I built the range. <laughs> so, um, just like so you should, I, just as you should. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I probably spent, you know, $10,000 of my own money building this range, making it as safe as possible. And you can see it in our other videos. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it has a huge backdrop. I mean, not a backdrop, a, uh, a berm, you know, it's got like mm -hmm. a 15 foot tall berm that is dug into a hill and then dirt on top of it. Like it's, it's a massive berm. Um, you know, we make it as safe as possible. So my neighbor, put up with it for a year and then she just decided she didn't like it and uh, it was mainly i think a control issue but that's you know my opinion um because she's shown other things other than what she's doing now and uh for the most part she's suing me for shooting on my own property and the only thing that she's alleged is that uh, we are running a commercial business because i have a business license for youtube and all that stuff um She's alleging that I am running a commercial range on my property that is not a commercial license area. And so, you know, we've talked to the, you know, zoning commission. He agrees with us. It's not a commercial range. And so we're basically protected by this um, Range Protection Act that went into place in 2004, which is, you know, 15, 20 years before I even decided to put a range here. Um, and in 2004, they put in a Range Protection Act, which basically says that anybody in the county that we live in can shoot on their own property, no matter how big the size of property is or whatever, uh, as long as they're doing it safely. And it covers everything as far as it covers everything, unless you are a commercial range or unless you, uh, you know, do physical harm to somebody. So because we're not a commercial range, we are protected by that range protection act. Well, COVID has basically held us out of court and uh, we haven't been able to get back into court to fight it yet. So we haven't shot out here for an entire year, almost, and um, in the state of Tennessee, nobody's ever been sued for shooting on their own property. They've been sued for shooting on other people's property, but we're on our own property. So nobody's ever done that before. So there's no precedent set. So basically, there's, there's no law or no judgment for them to look at and say, yeah, this was done before. You know, this is okay or whatever. So I'm basically the guinea pig. And because this had never been done before... I'm the person that's fitting the bill for this. And mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you this right now with my attorneys and what we've done. If every one of my subscribers would donate a dollar, we would put a dent in the bill that I have for what I have going on right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. basically, I, I put up a GoFundMe. Yeah, I think and, I just put uh, the wrong link up there. I'm going to get rid of that and put the... Yeah, I was trying to work on getting the GoFundMe link up there. I'll get it up yeah. uh, here I'm hoping in a that, you know, some people yeah. will be like, look, I, you know, basically, if I if I was to be like, no, I'm not going to fight this. I'm not, mm -hmm. not going to shoot out here. You, you win. 
then that sets precedent for everybody around me in this in this county and the state and everywhere that any actually any state that has gun laws like we do and that this has never happened to before. So if I was to just give up on this and let this happen and not do this, not go to court for this, that puts anybody in danger of saying, well, their neighbor saying, I don't like what he's doing. I'm taking you to court over it. And I can mm-hmm. win because this this lady won against Josh and mm-hmm. Black Diamond or whatever. Mm-hmm. So basically I'm fighting this thing to the end, regardless of whether anybody goes and gives money to a GoFundMe or not. I'm fighting this with my own money and everything to the end. You have and been, right? You've been say, you've been doing it for some time. You guys have been fighting it, right? Yeah. I mean, we've been doing it since October. Okay. Um, and I, I put our, I've already put ten grand of my own money into it on top mm-hmm. of my bill. Um, mm-hmm. But basically, and what if I do get GoFundMe money, which you know, who knows if I will or not. If I do, that's great. Whatever the amount that I have in there, if I get over the amount uh, that I need for to pay the bill off, then mm-hmm. I will donate all of that money to uh, FPC and GOA. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't, I, so I don't make a dime off of it basically is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to try to, uh, it's in the description, I think already. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put it here in the chat for, uh, let me see. I, I got to type weird this whole thing out. Yeah. Sorry. I, I don't, I don't want to put a GoFundMe out there because like, mm-hmm. I just, I feel like I'm, uh, I don't want to be the person that's begging for money because I'm not begging for money at all. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I'm going to fight this regardless and I'll just have to have a, I'll have a big bill because I'm mm-hmm. not giving up my right to shoot on my own property. That is stupid. Uh, no, you, you have the right to shoot on your own you should, property. You should 100% fight this because not only is it going to set a bad precedence for you and where you live, then other people are going to try that nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> And that's and, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If I don't fight this, and because yeah. we have it in the bag, I, I, mm-hmm. I promise you, we have it in the bag, and mm-hmm. we're going to win. Like I said, we're protected by the law that's already in place. So, because I know we're going to win, I have to fight this, and I mm-hmm. have to, I have to see it through. And uh, you know, all the help I can get will be awesome. Like I said, I'm going to fight it regardless. But mm-hmm. any help I get from it will be amazing. And like I said, anything over the amount that I have to have to pay the bills, I will definitely put it toward uh, FPC and GOA. Yeah. Um, Armin and Axis says uh, people that moved in next to our range that was there for almost 40 years and got it shut down. Um, a similar yeah. thing happened to Aries uh, in Leesburg. They were able to get uh, their range going, but the na- but the neighbors tried to shut it down. There's no, none of that, you know, it shouldn't apply to you. You have the right to shoot in yeah. your own property. Well, we're in the in, county. In, in yeah. our county, like I said, mm-hmm. we have certain county guidelines. And we have mm-hmm. a Range Protection Act that protects us from any kind, any kind of noise nuisance or anything like that. It's protected mm-hmm. under this Range Protection Act. So mm-hmm. we are going to win. It's just getting in the court to prove it. Yeah. And uh, um, the end is the near guy, beware says, is that East Tennessee that you're in? Sorry. Yes, it's, it's East Tennessee, yeah. Yeah. Um, Tactical Pineapple says, um, text me that GoFundMe. Um, it's going everywhere I could put it uh, to put it out. Yeah, and we're, we're putting, it's in the description of this video um nice. and i'll i'll you know try to put some some uh do something else with it did you want to did you want to comment on this chuck go ahead uh mm-hmm. yeah um well there's a lot of, of people talking in the chat about how their ranks got shot shut down mm-hmm. and um you know it's, it is a totally different situation and you know mm-hmm. but i was talking with cherry city guns and ammo and i mentioned it earlier is that um his range when neighborhood started moving back in they started buying the houses as the range. And so they bought all the houses and rented out the houses. And if you tried to sue against the range noise, it was in your contract that you couldn't sue against the range noise. <laughs> the range yeah, yeah. owns the house. You yeah. could get kicked out of your rental. And so every time a house comes for sale, and, and there's all sorts of interesting things about that. You should have Cherry City on and uh, get him to talk about it because he could explain it a lot better than me. But that's just a, like a power move. And, so yeah. I would love to see you win this, Josh, and then buy her twenty acres out. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, the thing. My lawyer said, "Man, I've been looking for a." They're place gonna have to pay your bills at some point. They're gonna have to pay. Like, so when you win this, I don't know. I'm not sure how it works in Tennessee, but I'm assuming it's a similar to other places. Like, you know, when you win this thing against them, aren't they somehow held liable for your expenses, even though you have to figure out how to put that up up front, or? I'm what's, not what's sure. Your lawyer I've talked saying to the lawyer that? about that before, mm-hmm. and he hasn't really gave me a complete answer on it, so I'm not okay. really 100 percent sure on it. Yeah. Okay. 
And I know this kind of but stuff could be expensive. There's, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If every one of our subscribers were to donate a dollar, we'd put a dent in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. but basically, uh, the lawyer that I have, his name is Kyle Baisley. And honestly, mm -hmm. if you don't feel comfortable giving money to the GoFundMe, if you want to give it to his his firm or whatever, that'd be fine too. Um, mm -hmm. But it, I don't actually don't know the name of the firm. I just know his name is Kyle Baisley. Mm -hmm. He uh, <clears throat> he's the the attorney that. Do you know who um, Reed Hendricks is? Yes, I do. He's a very good friend okay. of mine. So, so Valor, right? Valor Ridge mm -hmm. was in a big thing, and they had mm -hmm. a big thing where all their neighbors kind of tried to go against him, right? Mm -hmm. He was their attorney. Awesome. And he okay. won that lawsuit. So okay. that's the guy that I have fighting with me in mind. So I know awesome. that we, we got it in the bag. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, shout out to Reed. We've had him on here. He's one of my really good friends, man. I haven't, I need to go, I need to go do some training with Reed. Have you ever been up there? I would love to go up there, man. I've been to, uh, Jaeger's class a couple times and mm -hmm. man, I would love mm -hmm. to go up there and train with him. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a, just a good dude, man. And that place is in such a beautiful part of the world. You know, it's kind I mean, of the same thing. It's almost, we're out in the middle of farmland, man. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you've got 20 acres on the other side of my property. Mm -hmm. We're on eight acres. Like, there's not a lot of people around you. And yeah. so the fact that she's just pissed off that we shoot every Saturday, that's all it is. Like we was, yeah. you know, we, and, like and I you said, said we that I think, you told, jobs. I think you told me that this person also shoots, right? Do they also, uh, she has admitted to shooting herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? Yeah. By the way, BWE firearms says he just made a donation. Thank you, Richard of BWE awesome. firearms. Thank you, man. That's much appreciated. Um, I know Richard right now is going through his own things. He's got chemo and all that kind of stuff he's going through. Wow, so I appreciate that's, that's crazy. Him. Yeah, I appreciate him stepping up um, and helping. And I really would ask everyone who's, you know, just like throw something in there and help these guys. I don't, you know, from my knowledge of Josh uh, and Josh, um, I, I think that you guys, like this is probably painful for you to even come out and ask anyone to help you right? it really is and i like i said i've known about this since last october and my lawyer has said won't you just put a video out and tell people what's going on i'm like yeah i've hinted to it on a couple of things but i don't want it to look like you're i'm just like guys come on i need this money because i'm mm -hmm. I, it's not going toward me it's going toward mm -hmm. the fight and once that fight's over anything will go to the two other fights with, with JLA and FBC. Yeah. So yeah, it's a valid I, cause, I don't, man. Don't, don't feel any way about it. It's valid. You and I have talked, we've talked about this a long time ago. So you guys yeah. can take it from me. I've had this conversation with Josh. What Josh, like six months ago. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's been a while. Yeah. You've been going through this for a while and you know, just different things happen and we didn't do it. But I think, you know, sh someone should never be allowed to do this to you. You know, and I think there's Especially also... Especially on your own property. Yes. I can understand if it was somewhere else, but here in at Tennessee. my own house. I, and, and, and the patron saint of let's shoot stuff in this state. Like, yeah. I, and at my own at my own house, on my own property, I put $10,000 into building a range just so I could have fun on my property because that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to dictate what, she, what I, what I want to do on my own property, and it's not right. Yeah. We, went, we go through things here... Also, sometimes where people try to call the, sh like, we've, so we've got a sheriff's department here and the deputies come out, but I actually know those guys. <laughs> so yeah. the only, well, that's the, the only, thing. Yeah. I've had those guys come out and look at the range and be like, man, this is an awesome, awesome range. I've you seen your over range. Here. It's I'm good. Like, yeah, yeah. Come shoot whenever you want. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm friends with all the guys and I'm like, yeah, come on out, man. Like, not a big deal. Yeah. Um, it sucks. It sucks that this is happening. So hopefully maybe I'll be able to like take a section out of this and, and put it up and maybe we'll get some more people um to get involved here you know uh john tram says they must be from california um I, obviously we don't want to get into who those people personally are and stuff like that so they right. you can make it i mean it's all public right. you can find it. okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um i'm assuming they're not, I'm not from california about right it, basically yeah 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 exactly exactly uh whoever they are it's a terrible thing to do when it's pretty obvious that these guys are going out of their way to be safe. Um, and, you know, if it's like this weird corner of your property that you don't even have to go there in the first place, um, yeah. you know, I don't know why I do this other than to try to exercise some kind of power over another. That's all being. they're trying. They're trying to basically. And like I said, we've had other situations where, you know, other parts of my family live on this eight acres mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and it's closer to her property than, than it is mine. And yeah. she's basically uh, the neighbor 
has basically been like uh, trying to film us and being like, you're too loud and you're scaring my horses and stuff when we're having just like family functions. Like she's, we've uh, rode fullers on this property for a year before we even lived here, before we even put a range here. And at that time she was like, you, you can't be doing this over here on, on this property. You're scaring my horses. And it's like, you know, this is our property. You have 20 acres on the other side. Go do what you want to do over there. I'm not yes. trying to tell you what to do on your property. So don't tell me what to do on mine. Also, my neighbor has, uh, she's got horses right next door. Um, yeah. It's not a problem. You know, we have if, animals. If animals, too. if animals have a problem with loud noises, which I know happens, they can go to another place where there's not the loud. They don't have to be in I that have, corner. I have cows and goats and mm -hmm. donkeys and pigs and stuff over here on our property. And mm -hmm. it's closer to my range than her property mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And they have no problem. Um, Skivvy Waver is asking this question. It says, if your county has a protection act, how is she allowed to bring suit? She was claiming that I'm running a commercial range when I'm, in fact, not running commercial range. It took an affidavit from the zoning commission to say that I wasn't, basically. Yeah, John Doe says, why didn't the judge just throw the case out? Because when it came into uh, the court, he didn't want it to look like he wasn't going to see her side, is, is my opinion, on why mm -hmm. he didn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, basically, he wants to hear all sides of it before he makes his decision, even though... Most of the judges here are very 2A. Uh, this guy has been known to be, be 2A as well. Hmm. Um, and so, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I, I really, I don't know. I, I, mean, I was meanwhile, the tab is running. Me, meanwhile, the tab is running for you. What about that? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, that's, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I hope so. What's, do you have any idea of what a time frame is for this? Well, uh, I got word the other day that uh, just basically because of COVID, because they had to push everything back and they shut down the courts and all that stuff, mm -hmm. they're allowing the stuff to come in there now, but they're taking all the stuff that is important first mm -hmm. and not petty, I guess, like this is. And um, <laughs> but now I've heard that uh, now I've heard that you know this is basically ran across the desk and waiting for our attorneys to set a date. So hopefully okay. very soon. I'm going to share, I'm going to just uh, get a quick look at this before we move on. So here's the, you know, here's the uh, GoFundMe right now. Um, I hope that folks will at least like share this if you can help these guys out. You know, these are not like, uh, you know, YouTubers who are making tens of thousands of dollars at all. These are some hardworking guys. And, you know, um, this is like a, a pretty tough thing for them to be going through. So. I know how it is. If I couldn't shoot on my range for some reason, it would actually have a massive effect on my channel and what I, I mean, do. We, like I said, this was our private range before we even started doing this. Uh, we didn't shoot videos here when we first started our channel. We shot everywhere else, and mm -hmm. you know, any any place that people would let us shoot, that's where we shot at. Mm -hmm. So doing this and and having this range here at my personal house has nothing to do with the channel. It's mm -hmm. cool, and it's a side note that I get to shoot on my own property and record it. Mm -hmm. But that's all I'm doing. And when how this has been going on mm -hmm. for the past year, I've been at other people's ranges. So we have other places to shoot. We don't have to shoot here. But the mm -hmm. fact is, is that it's my property. I should be able to do out what I want on my property as long as I'm not doing anything to anybody else. As long as you're being safe, and if there's an act in Tennessee to protect you, I don't know what you want, what you what you think about it, Chuck. But if there's an act to protect you. It's not protecting you if it's if you're if you're having to spend all this money, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah I think well, it will protect me as soon as we get into court, though. Okay. I mean, I'm yeah. gonna have to pay for it. I'm paying for the attorney's fees, basically. But mm -hmm. yeah. it sounds like you tried to find a technicality, and so it is. the judge is exactly what letting it is. the yeah letting the technicality go. But here's my question for you, Josh: Are you gonna use this incident? to get Tennessee to pass a law like Texas did that any suppressor made in Tennessee, because the NFA is only valid because of the interstate com commerce clause. So any suppressor made in Tennessee doesn't have to be NFA approved. Are you going to get, uh, are you, are you going to use this to launch that? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm, I, I'm just I mean, saying, yeah. well, they got to get through this get first, help. but <laughs> yeah, if I can yeah. get help to literally yeah. pass anything that has to do with pro to a anything mm -hmm. I'm down. Now I think it's really funny that, uh, I emailed our governor and I'm not saying I'm the person that did this, but it's really mm -hmm. cool to think that I might be. So mm -hmm. I emailed our governor 
uh, probably you know three or four months before they decide to have it as a two A sanctuary state. Mm-hmm. And I actually specifically asked him. I was like, I know you're putting through the constitutional carry bill, uh, but we would like to see Tennessee as a constitutional, like a Second Amendment sanctuary state. And and then they replied back to me and they said, uh, Billy is always going to fight for the rights of you know Tennesseans and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, but that's not what I asked you. What I asked you was, we need to see this as a two A sanctuary state. And yeah, then about but, three or four months later on, mm-hmm. they actually made it put it into place. So I'm hoping that my email had something to do with that. By the way, Richard Maunder, who he's here in the chat, and he's a dude in England, he put in 50 bucks. So I just want to recognize Ooh, what Richard he did Man. there. And I want to thank him. I don't know if you're aware of, aware of who Richard Maunder is. That's a guy yeah. who's literally in England. He's like a massive fan of America, the Constitution, mm-hmm. our whole way of life here, the Second Amendment. He's trying to come to America, and this is not like a dude that has, you know, he's a hardworking guy, man. You know, so big shout out to I met to him at Martin. NRA. That's how I met him, and uh, yeah, he's, he's, cool. he's a cool-ass dude, man. I, I like yeah. Richard. I talked yeah. to him on every one of our videos. He comments on everything. Like, yeah. he's, he's a super cool guy. Yeah, man. I, I, I Listen, if I knew some gun women that were single, I would try to get them to, like, marry Richard or something <laughs> and get him over here. He's, good. He's, that, he's that good of a guy. But thanks, Richard. Um, we appreciate that. Um, Thanks to everybody else that put in there too, man. That's that's awesome. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Uh, Skivvy Waver it's going says, to use. "Yeah, Skivvy Waver says, did you counter sue?" Uh, we're talking about it. I don't. I haven't done anything yet. I'm trying to get into court to get this fault, and then after that, we'll talk about everything else. Yeah, and Armament and Axis says, "Has Josh talked to the GOA about any of this?" I've tried to reach out uh, on Twitter, I think, and uh, okay, I haven't talked to. Uh, crump about it at all okay um but i need to i've talked to u.s law shield and they're mm-hmm. one of our sponsors mm-hmm. and uh, i was like hey man you know i'm one of your biggest sellers like i've i've, I've sold a lot of memberships for them because i mm-hmm. really believe in the u.s law shield oh they're awesome I was a yeah u.s law shield remember i was a u.s law shield member before i even had a youtube channel mm-hmm. so uh it was it was like a no-brainer for me to to have them as a sponsor and um mm-hmm. And so I, I told them, I was like, look, I need you to help me out on this. And they have, they gave me one of their, one of their lawyers here in town that is, mm-hmm. I mean, free of charge. Now I, like I said, the other guy, Kyle Baisley, he is an attorney and I have him and that's basically my bill right now. But mm-hmm. the U S law shield is actually spawned and giving me a, an attorney for free right now. So, mm-hmm. okay, cool. I'll yeah. help out with the cost, which we'll is good. S- we'll see if we can uh, maybe talk to John or, or, or someone else at GOA and, See if we can get some other people involved in this somehow. I mean, ultimately, it would be cool this is keeping like you guys said, off the range, right? Like you guys cannot use your own range. That's right the now. thing. He the the judge told me told me he was like, uh, "I'm not telling you that you cannot shoot at your own property. I know you have the Second Amendment and it's your right, mm-hmm. but I am telling you that you can't do the things that you are doing. <clears throat> you can't operate the way you've been operating." And I was like, "So I don't know what that means." And he was mm-hmm. like, "You can go out there and shoot a 22." And a shotgun, if you want. He was like, "But you can't do the stuff you've been doing." Which you know, I'm like, we were shooting nine millimeter and two two three. Like we weren't, we don't ever do anything nuts, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, if we do anything nuts, we go to Eric's house. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and, you know. So I was just like, you know what? Out of respect for everything that's going on, respect for the judge and everything, I'm just leaving it alone because I got other places I can shoot. So I literally mm-hmm. haven't shot at my house in a year. Yeah. So uh, there's lots of things coming in here. Jen Champ Jr. says, when you win this, Josh, get a big bucket of Tannerite (laughs) and let that Karen watch the show. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yes. Chris Rodriguez says, 7 a.m. coffee and binary 30-round mag every day. Absolutely. (laughs) It really, yeah, it sucks, man. I hate, I hate to hear stuff like that. So we'll see. I'm going to, I'm going to take this out and I'll, you know, try to put that up there. Uh, on my channel, see what we could do. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to talk to John. He just might not be aware yeah. of this right now, or, or the folks at GLA. I, I haven't reached. I haven't reached out to him at all. I would mm-hmm. like to reach out to him. I just haven't done it yet because I hadn't really got the go ahead to do it. And now that I do have the go ahead to do it, I'm totally mm-hmm. down to talk to him and, and ask what yeah. they can do to help. Them and honestly, it. anyone, I FPC, to Fry. yeah, FPC, Second Amendment, like whoever can get on board and help out with that would be awesome. Yeah, and like yeah, I said, so. all that if we do have donations and stuff like that, it's all going back to them. So, mm-hmm. yeah.
Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.